Look at the weather today. It just gorgeous. Blue sky, lovely sun, warm colors, very contrasty, just the perfect weather to do something nice. But I didn't get one shot, not even a single shot that I took that I, I like. No. It's, it's freezing and uh, I have failed two days in a row and I am not joking I didn't get a single shot that I like to keep uh, yeah it's quite disappointing as a photographer so today's lesson is about not giving up your photography of course uh, yeah you know like today is, is very cloudy so i lost it sunny opportunities that i wanted to capture uh, uh you know especially you know i kind of like the uh, for this particular project i'm doing i like to have some sort of sun very high contrast and uh, in black and white it looks very punchy so that's sort of feel that i'm going for and today it, you know I, I lost the contrast you know it's very even the light so it's i just simply lost the opportunities but i'm not giving up because uh, as a photographer i should continue and if this is your passion you should not give up as well this is something that i would like to talk about today and especially uh, i want to mention about creative flow because this is very very important as a photographer as a creative because if you lose that if you want to stop doing what you love to do yeah you stop having that creative mindset and that is very very important and i learned that from experience because when i first started photography uh, you know, of course it's not something that I do on a regular basis so uh, I never have sort of the consistencies as a, as a professional uh, should have uh, which is very very important uh, and also you know if you want your shot to be creative you know once you stop you kind of you know you have to restart it and uh, just really be like a, a classic car for instance and if you have a classic car you know if you give it a run just a little bit of run every single day just, maybe even just to start the engine every day um, that will keep things running smoothly uh, if you don't let's say you park the car in the garage and just kind of ignore it for about three or four months and when you go back to it you're trying to start the engine it's not going to sound nice it may not even start <laughs> and uh, this is something that will happen to your brain as well which is very very important uh, because when I uh, uh, first started wedding photography for instance uh, in the UK we have kind of like the peak season months uh, between kind of April to September maybe stretching to October time because the weather is starting to get a little bit wet and yeah just like kind of today it's not going to feel or look nice at all so no weddings around those months uh, you may get the odd one out there but it's not going to be very very pretty so that you kind of stop what well, i did stop you know for about three or four months with doing nothing and when i trying to get back to it in april may time and uh, the, I, I can i could say that in the first couple of shoots that i did uh wasn't exactly that i i wanted you know and i felt a little bit uh bad really for my client even though you know they thought you know the pictures were nice uh, you know, I have to have a professional standards, of course, you know, but deep down in my in my heart, you know, I knew those photos weren't creative enough. Uh, uh, so I felt bad, you know, uh, I didn't kind of give my best for my clients uh, for the first two months. And but that was in the past. So what did I learned from it is that I have to keep shooting no matter what. Uh, even in those quiet months, I always head out on a daily basis. Uh, just to do something. And this is what you should do as well. So don't let any setback you know affect your photography you know you should keep going keep doing what you love to do get out there and shoot something you may not get something that you like you know you simply cannot get something you want every single day you know because the traffic could be different weather could be different people could be different you know something that you cannot control is the outdoor but something about your brain you know it's the creative thing 
you need to be in sync with the tool that you get you know so you have to train your eyes your brain and the, uh, the camera uh, or the viewfinder I always call it the viewfinder uh, uh, to make sure that you are in sync if one you know in one kind of yeah unity uh, this is something that you have to make sure that you train yourself uh, to work and also uh, once you have that going you have your basic photography instincts which is very very important by the way because you have to have the instinct when you see something as a photographer you, you when you see something that is nice you really want to capture that that split second you know you hold up your camera your brain your eye your the way that the kind of like when you look through the viewfinder that is it that is what you want to see and then you click the shutter button that's how you capture that bucket shot that you want um, if you don't have the basic instinct if you don't have the creative mindset going you don't have the creative flow and what happened when you hold up the camera when you see something that you like you'll be faffing around the settings you'll be thinking you know like because things happens in split second if you miss it you miss it so you know you have to be very very careful about that uh, uh, so that's why you know you have to keep doing what you love and have always have you know be prepared you know for that kind of things to happen you when you see something that you like you just really want to go jump and grab it uh, something that you have to have that mindset and then the skill for it so there you go this is kind of my advice for you guys and then don't never ever let anything to affect you you as a photographer and stop shooting you should actually get out there and shoot something every day it doesn't need to be long it doesn't need to be far you don't need a professional equipment to do that even your smartphone something if you don't like feeling holding any camera out you just use a smartphone take some photographs because you just need to see that image on the screen and in your brain in your eye you just have to feel it you know once you have de developed a feeling and you become a much much better photographer I guarantee that so this is it so hopefully uh, I will get some nicer shot today even though it's gonna be from completely different I may not even uh, want to create something kind of interesting or maybe something moody you never know uh, but anyway hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for future updates uh it's going to be a lot more how to improve your photography videos in the future and i hope you enjoyed this one today so until next time see you then bye